FM, we have different kinds of operators. The carrier, which is a basic pitch, and the modulator, which modulates or varies that pitch. Depending how we arrange them, they will give us sounds with different properties. Let's see about making some different kinds of FM sounds with the machine drum here. What we're going to need to do is get a, a carrier, and that can be a sine wave. So we've got a sine wave dialed up here. And we need a modulator. And if we get the tempo up nice and high, we got 300 BPM. And we can go into the LFO menu, and we can modulate the pitch. So that will be frequency modulation. And we can use a variety of different shapes for that. We could use a triangle wave, which is our closest approximation to a sine wave. Or we could use some of the other kinds of waveforms that we might be interested in over here. Let's stick with the triangle wave just for starters and look at doing some 2-op FM. So here's our sine wave. And we're going to go to the LFO depth. And we can experiment with different kinds of speeds to get different sounds. Definitely something you will have to try it and see. And we get some nice overtones coming in. Obviously, if you go too far, overtones take over. Nice, something warm like that. Then here's some things that you don't really have on the classic FM, is we can dial in some additional effects. Sounding like a pretty nice bass sound there. What we're going to do is play that. Then we're going to record it over here and play it back on a play machine. So let's look at that play machine. And we can change the pitch over here. That's a pretty nice, very, very low bass, nice sound. So that's some basic 2-op FM with some variations that are not on the classic FM synthesis. This control 8P is going to vary different kinds of parameters over time in a easily programmable way. So let's take a listen. We can have the LFO depth be programmed to vary over time to get that sound. So we play that back over here. And let's just take a look at that sine wave real quick. Here is the sine wave. We dial that in. But we want it to evolve over time. And that's what this does. And you can see the parameter being modulated. So that's some more 2-op FM with the envelope here. Let's go over to the play machine. And we can, again, modulate this. So this is our sample. There's no reason why we couldn't modulate this as well. Another thing we can do is, with this kind of sound, is change the sample rate to lower it. And this is going to filter out some of the higher harmonics a lot of times. And this might be nice for a good bass sound. So just getting that value down to give us a nice bass. There's some nice harmonic possibilities around BPM 220. Let's take a look. Here is a square LFO. Sample that and play it back. 
back and adjust things. So that's something you can fool around with. It's another tempo change here. And that sounds a bit rough at first, but with a little bit of what we've got over here is LFO here. And then we've got the and that sounds a little rough until we put some filtering on top of that. So that's got some filtering applied here, so we can see the LFO on this one is going to be a filter of LFO.